Today we're going to talk about building a contact tow line, a very useful piece of kit um, that we carry on the front decks of our boat and has lots of uses on the water. So the contact tow line can be used to retrieve a boat that somebody let go of or to just hold the bow of a boat you're contact towing in case the victim can hold the boat in. Or you can literally lash two boats together for an extended rafted tow. You can also connect both carabiners to one side of the boat and use it as a foot sling. Before we get started on making up the contact tow line, we want to talk about a couple different materials, particularly the rope we choose and the carabiners. One of the things to consider is the size of the line and the smoothness of that line, what I call handedness. If I need to really grip on this or hold my line for any reason, I don't want to get really bad rope burns and I really want to be able to get a grip. A line that's too small and has too loose of a weave will really give me a burn. So I choose at least a quarter inch line with a nice smooth um, weave to it or tight weave. Choice of carabiner can be really important for this piece of kit as well. The things we like about this carabiner called the Genus Carabiner is it has a captive eye so you won't lose your line. It's stainless steel and it has a side kick open gate that allows you to open that fully and get the line on easily without blocking the opening with your thumb. So to get the measurement of your line for your boat, slide the line underneath each one of the deck lines on both sides of the boat in front of the cockpit and then bring each side of the line that's under the deck line back across the boat to the other side and then leave about two inches on each side for the hog ringing of the carabiner. Okay, I'm going to measure out about four feet of line for my boat, and then I'm going to cut it. Okay, I'm going to just cut my shrink wrap so that it's going to be the right length and get it on my line so that I don't forget about it afterwards, which sometimes I do. Okay, the next thing I need to do is attach my genus carabiner to the line and cinch it down with a hog ring. There you have it, a, a contact tow line. It's a simple piece of kit to make, but a really valuable piece of kit to have on the water.